something about the way I eat has always led me to enjoy savory breakfasts, and I think there was a real eye-opening moment about 15 years ago. I was in Bangkok, and they brought me a bowl of, uh, at a quite fancy hotel, a bowl of the stuff called khao tom, which is effectively, essentially, juk, the Chinese rice porridge, but really dressed up with sausage and fish and bacon and scallions and uh, fish sauce. And, and I thought, this is, a, this is breakfast of champions. To really? eat a really big bowl of hearty stew at breakfast, to me, there's nothing better. What, do, what have you got for me? So you aren't just eating that kimchi. That's uh, made with uh, sort of anchovies. Kimchi with but anchovies. You're, but you're supposed to put that on top of this bibimbap. If you sort of look at your diet and you say, what are the foods I like the most and why, how can I bring some of those into my morning? You know, I think you could you could eat better and you can eat happier. Yeah, this does not taste at all like sugar pops. So the little anchovies and the kimchi, you know. Why is dessert such a celebratory meal? I mean, is the one meal where there's no dessert, but yet if my kids, you know, and my my, parent, my wife and I, if we're trying to figure out what to have for dinner, if we say, all right, uh, how about scrambled eggs? You know, we can't come up with a solution. Or, or how about cereal? My kids go, yay! Sugar is addictive. So, I mean, when I was a kid, Man, if I couldn't get those sugar pops or those frosted flakes, I just didn't know yeah. what to do. There were years when I felt those things were essential to life. An exploration of enjoying cornmeal, wheat berries, brown rice, bulgur, quinoa, etc. in the morning as alternatives to traditional breakfast cereals, or for that matter, steel-cut oats, but served, say, with soy sauce and scallions or with peanut butter and sriracha sauce. I mean, these are things that I know that some listeners right now are going, ew, and others are going, huh, I got to try that. I have one more bone to pick with you, Mark. This is Joy of Cooking, 1975. Pages, oh, solid. Yes. What is going on? The first edition was really just it's, terrible. You've got, you've got to tell them. I mean, my, my poor cake recipe, I... It's falling apart. I mean, can I've I got to buy the 10th the, anniversary. Can I send you yeah. one? Yeah. So but we've got we've we've got to address this, this because isn't even that old. It actually. isn't that old. No, it's not. This no, wasn't a first were, edition. They were. No, I've got. I I've got hope that big they problems fixed it over in the here. One. They insist they fix. You've it got. In the you've, one. You're Mark Bittman. Well, you just. They're my bubble Wail on them. Wail on them.